Hello guys, sorry to, to be late. I'm truly sorry. Um, I have some technical difficulties right now. And for the reason I'm late and I sincerely apologize. But don't worry, I will just start right now with the, with the class for today. Just give me a second. As you remember, yesterday we were uh, talking about the WH question, a little review also about the yes, no questions, simple present. And today we will start with preposition of time. Well, I would like to show you a little information before I start. For example, the preposition of time most common are at, in, on. Estas preposiciones se ocupan para poder describir diferentes tipos de tiempo. Como sabemos, existen horas, días, meses, años, décadas, eones, siglos. Aparte de eso, que hay periodos de tiempo donde no, no son minutos exactos para poder hacer ese tipo de acciones como el lunch. No tenemos un periodo exacto en el que nos vamos a tardar todos los días lo mismo en comer. O de las festividades como el Easter o incluso los weekends, porque a veces suelen ser eh, periodos de tiempo que no solo es un día, sino que son varios. O el Easter que solo es una vez al año. También para poder hablar sobre expresiones, los podemos ocupar para eso. Mayormente ocupamos el at. Uh, right now, guys, let me ask to you, did you take a review about this today in the morning? Revisaron esto en la mañana, guys. Yo la verdad no tuve tiempo chica. No, no se preocupen Está bien Para eso está esta clase Y bueno Me alegra su sinceridad Ahora bien Permítanme Ahora bien Alguien me podría decir What's the difference between? Uh, perdón. Excuse me. Okay. Someone knows what's the bit different between at, in, and on. Alguien sabe la diferencia porque hay tres diferentes preposiciones de tiempo. Well, it's because each preposition describes exactly period of time. For example, the first one. The first one is at. At describe a specific time. For example, uh, what, da, what time did you get up? A que hora se levanta? I need a volunteer, guys. Come on, you can do it. Five. Okay. Four o'clock. Okay, four o'clock. Uh, our classmate woke up at four o'clock. We are describing a specific time. In this kind of cases, it's at. Or another example, it could be 
what time did you arrive to your house? Uh -huh, guys. What time did you arrive to your house? ¿A qué horas llegaron el día de ahora? At five. Uh -huh. At five and thirty minutes. I arrived to my home at five and thirty minutes. Okay, but what about in? In also describe a, a specific period of time, but are a little bit longer. In también describe ciertos periodos de tiempo, pero más extensos, como meses, temporadas, años, décadas, centuriones, y periodos de, año, de tiempo como la era del hielo, el presente o el pasado, que son periodos que no son muy eh, específicos en su cantidad. We can use this in. For example, in April, it's my birthday. Oh, my birthday is in April. Uh, I, uh, I am going to Apollo in the summer. No, see, so I go to so Apollo every summer. Oh, in the summer, I went to Apollo. Another one, it could be, we didn't have computer in 1990. Another one, it could be, my father went to another country in the 80s. Also, we have uh, uh, an exception, in this case, is at night. This is a big period of time. It's not a, a specific time because it's not a moment. But at night is used at and night. But, but what? But what about evening? To use, oh, uh, yes. To pronounce evening is necessary in the preposition in. Okay, but what about on? On it's also a specific time, but it's shorter than in but longer than at. For example, the name of the day. Um, when was your last, uh, your last class of English? English class. When was the last time that do you have an English class? When was the last time that you guys have an English class. When, guys? The answer of that question, it could be, oh, yesterday, teacher. On Tuesday, no, Thursday, on Thursday. Well, when will be your your day off. Oh, my day off will be on Saturday. And like that. Also to describe specific uh, dates. For example, uh, on the 15th of September is our Independence Day. We use on. Right now, to continue, I will show you guys a little video, just give me a time and change. It's about this.
No tiene audio, teacher. Gracias. Just give me a second. Thanks, guys. Just give me a second. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's too slow. In this lesson, ¿Lo pueden escuchar ahora? You will listen to a conversation. Yeah. I'm truly sorry, guys, for that technical issues. Conversation where time expressions are first introduced. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, guys, what do you think about this video? Guys, what do you think about this video? Well, I guess that you think it's interesting or something like that. Nice. Or... They talking about the time. Yes. I would like to show you something. This part in Helen, it's the one, two, three, in the fourth, the fourth time of the conversation. Helen, I work in the afternoon. She used in to describe a period of time. Just give me a second. In this lesson, five. Look at this or another one. I start work at five she used also the proposition at to describe a specific hour in the same sentence you can use both right now let me verify something guys mm. I remember we have an assessment pending. Okay. But we will do late after that, after this one. I will show you guys another video. And this video also talk about prepositions of period of time. They Pay, uh, please pay attention so carefully because it helps you a lot to understand these aims. By the end of this lesson, can you listen? And participants will be able to identify new time expressions. Pueden escuchar, guys. Yes. Such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up afternoon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven. 
7. 7 o'clock. 7 a.m. equals 7 in the morning. 7 p.m. equals 7 in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, a specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. Okay, guys, did you understand uh, this video? ¿Tienen preguntas sobre el video, guys? I guess not. Okay. And let me show you what we will do right now. Before uh, making the assessment, we will practice a little bit of speaking and pronunciations. I know. But uh, it's a little bit hard, but we can do it, guys. I believe on you. Just give me a second. Okay. Repeat after me. In the past. In the past. In the past. A long time ago. A long time ago. A long time ago. The day before. The day before. The day before. Yesterday. 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 Recently. 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 Again. Recently. Recently. In 2011. In 2011. Yesterday. Yes, yes, yes. A little while ago. A little, a little while, while ago. ago. An hour ago. An hour an ago. ago. This morning. This morning. morning. When I was born. When I was, when I was born. born. One week ago. One, one week, week ago. ago. Last week. Last, last, week. last week. Last month. Last, last month. month. Last year. Last, last year. year. Present. 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 Nowadays. 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 These days. These, These days. days. Right now. Right now. As we as we speak today, as, as we, we speak, speak today, this weekend, this weekend, this month, this month, this year, this year, this year. At, the moment, at the moment, at the moment, now, now, now. at this time, at this at time. time. Future. 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 Next month. Next, Next month. month. Next year. Next, Next year. year. In an hour. In an In hour. hour. Soon. 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 Way off in the future. Way off, Way in, off the future. in the future. 
the day after tomorrow. The day the after, after tomorrow. tomorrow. Eventually. 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 Next week. Next, Next week. week. In the near future. In the near In future. The near future. Later this evening. Later this evening. 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 That's right. In the future. In the future. In the future. Okay, guys. Right now, I got three questions. What's the meaning of the day before yesterday? ¿Qué significa the day before yesterday? No. El, the day before yesterday, uh, en español, no hay mejor forma de, de traducirlo. O, antier. Que antier. <laughs> Exacto. The day before yesterday means antier. Ahora bien, what's the meaning of nowadays? ¿Qué significa nowadays, guys? Nowadays. Ahora en día. Ahorita. <laughs> ahorita significa right now. Ok. Right now es ahorita. Right now. But what happened? Uh, who is speaking right now? Sorry. ¿Quién está hablando ahorita? No veo, no tengo el cuadrito para verlos ahorita. Por lo mismo. Vaya, Roxana. Imagine esto. Si le preguntan a usted. ¿Desde cuándo está trabajando? ¿Hasta cuándo está trabajando? ¿En la empresa donde está ahorita? Podría decir. I start to working on, y dice la fecha, uh -huh. diciembre, uh, December of 2020, to nowadays. That means that you are working there and you are still working there until today. Usted ha estado trabajando desde el 2020 hasta ahora en día. That means nowadays, ahora en día. Ahora en día. Para eso como vamos nowadays, to say ahora en día. And right now, and the next one, what's the meaning of wait off in the future? ¿Qué significa wait off in the future? Algún día, no. Something like that. Se podría traducir como algún día. But, algún día, it's someday. Wait off es algo parecido, pero no igual. Es muy lejos en el futuro. Es algo que nosotros sabemos que va a pasar, pero lo vemos súper lejos. And right now, guys, it's time to the test. Just give me a second. I will share my screen again. Okay. It's time to practice, guys. I get up. I get up. Um, the next and the other ones, what do you think? It's at, on, or in? At, at. at six. Okay. Yeah. I go to bed late. At, 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 or nine. Or in? at nine. At, at nine. At nine. Okay. I start work. 
at at eleven thirty a.m. Don't forget set a.m. or p.m. Don't forget that this is is an important part. I have lunch at two o'clock p.m. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. I stayed up at one o'clock a.m. On weekend. On weekend. weekend. I wake up late. On Sundays. On Sunday. I watch TV. In the in the evening. In the evening. Evening. In the evening. I do my homework. Around. Around. Around four in the afternoon. Repeat after me. Around. 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 Recuerde Around. hacer el, eh, like that. Around four in the afternoon. Let me. I work. I work. With On. On weekdays. I get home early. In. In. In the morning from my night shift. Okay. Submit this. And congratulations, guys. You did a great job. Okay. Just give me watch this. Oh, this is an assessment about WH questions that we will do later. Let me verify. Yes, for this part, it's necessary to finalize this. I will play a video right now, guys, about the WH questions. Uh, if you remember yesterday, we uh, was talking about this a little bit. The WH question help us to describe situation, places, things, people, and also ask for information for them. Here, just the next, yes, here I have some example. Who is a person? Where is a place? What? It could be a thing or an action. For example, what is this? This is a cupcake. What is she doing? Jump. She's jumping the rope. And why? It's for reasons. For example, when you uh, ask to your uh, brother or sister, why did you buy big cola? It's, it's an example. Another one, when? It's about time. And how? How is a little bit tricky because we have two kind of how. How much and how many? Someone remember what's the difference between how much and how many? Alguien sabe la diferencia entre how much and how many? Bueno, guys, la diferencia entre how much and how many es que uno se puede contar y otro no. Ahora bien, ¿cuál se puede contar? Contar how many. ¿Cuál no se puede contar? How much. These are some examples. How much sugar would you like? Let me ask it to you guys. The, uh, can you count the sugar? ¿Pueden contar los granos de azúcar? Maybe, but are a lot of, but a lot of in an response. For the reason, it's not countable, it's uncountable. How much time do you have to finish? Time is uncountable too. What about money? The money 
Yes, it's uncountable because we are talking about not the bill. No estamos hablando de billetes ni monedas, sino de la moneda cuando mencionamos money. Hacemos referencia, puede ser a cualquier tipo de moneda alrededor del mundo, como las rupias, los pesos, el colón, el dólar. Todo eso son monedas que suelen fluctuar su, su valor en el mundo. Por lo tanto, no es contable. What about milk? Milk is a liquid and all the liquid cannot be countable right now. Also, how much can be used in order to know the price of something? At the moment to buy, for example, if you look a beautiful sneaker, you can say, excuse me, how much is the price of those sneakers? Or si miran un vestido, how much is this dress? How much are these shoes? How much did your jacket cost? How much will cost me? Right now we are asking some of that. And the answer will be, uh, this is for $19.99, $19.99. But that will be another times about money. Right now, and countable and uncountable, and how many? How many are countable? For example, how many days are the January? Someone knows? ¿Cuántos días tiene enero? Aha, guys. How many days? January has 31st day or 31 day. Okay, guys. 31 days. Yes. But remember, the complete answer, it will be January has 31st. Remember, add the subject, the verb, and the complement. Right now, we will make the assessment of the WH word, but I will play the video. Just give me a second. I guess it's short. I'm a student. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use Simple Present. Simple Present WH questions and statements. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. I, you, work, take, study, Teach, do, go, have. He, she, works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, has. Now that you have watched the video, I'm sure you notice the changes on the verbs when talking on third person singular. For example, we say, I, you work, he, she works. I, you take, he, she takes. This inflection happens only in third person singular affirmative sentences. Also, take note that when we ask any type of questions in simple present, as in this case we're using WH question words, we must use the auxiliary do for I, you, we, they, and does for he, she, it. When we put everything together, this is how the structure will look like. We have WH question word plus auxiliary plus a subject 
plus the verb in its base form plus complement plus question mark. Now what I want you to do is to type in a WH simple present question in our discussion box. Okay guys, it's time to practice. Instruction, complete this conversation using the present NWH question work. What do you do? I am a full-time student. I study the violin. Where do you? Where go, do you? you go. Go. To a school. I go to the New York School of Music. Ah, okay, okay. It's how do you like your class? Class. I like them a lot. Does. What does she does. do exactly? Teaches. Teach? No, teaches. teaches. What about Ryan? Where does he work? He works. He works. What? I... What? What? The... That's right. It's what? Congratulations, guys. This assessment is done. We are ready for this one. Right now, we will listen a conversation between Rodney, Tina, and Alec talk about their daily schedule. We'll complete information for each person. First of all, Ronnie is a. He grabs a. Turn to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen. Talk about their day. Sí, guys. Eh, podrían mutearse solo después de los audios se desmutean, por favor. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what... Uh, someone can tell me what is, uh, who is Rodney or what is Rodney? Chef. What are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. Okay, what time he get up? 9 a.m. Okay. He gets home. Yeah, play back a little bit. No, why? Okay, again. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. And I'm usually in bed by one in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay, guys. Can you tell me the number three? What time Rodney get up? 
Get seven home. A.M. Can you repeat? Seven A.M. A esa hora regresa a casa. Ah, it's get home. It's job. Six P.M. And six P.M. Creo. We will play again. Don't worry. Oh, it's not working. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and... Okay, uh, I can see, guys, that it's almost time. Um, I know the class started late, but I'm truly sorry about this. Uh, this is the final assessment for the section second. I'm, and maybe we don't, uh, we don't have enough time in order to finalize. But don't worry, I believe on you. You already um, see some part of the audio, listen part of the audio, and can see some of the answers. And you will be more than able to finalize that part. Muy bien, guys, yo confío mucho en ustedes que lo van a lograr, van a poder llegar, pues, eh, lejos en este segment del nivel 2, perdón, de la lección 2. Confío en ustedes que lo lograrán. Procuren todos terminar la sección 2 porque el lunes comenzaremos con la sección 3. Ya pudieron ver parte de las preguntas y también han podido ver parte de las respuestas y escuchar los audios. Eh, perdonen de antemano estos 15 minutos que no estuve en clase. Lo siento mucho, perdón. Hubo un apagón y no pude acceder a la clase, pero no volverá a pasar, jóvenes. Así es que, de antemano, gracias. Pueden irse. Good night, class. Good night. Good night, teacher.